Good morning from Italy, 2024 Giro d'Italia. We're still up here in Piedmonte, wine region, running through these vineyards now, Babaresco, Barolo. <laughs> Only a few stages that we've passed so far, and it seems that our Slovenian superstar friend, Tade Pogacar, is out to win everything. But is it too much? Is it too much in this Giro d'Italia? Because we have the gravel stage still to come. We have two time trial stages still to come. Grazie. <laughs> Grazie per tutto. Grazie a te. Ciao. Ciao. Two time trial stages still to come. And yes, the big mountain stages. I'm talking about the Alps and the Dolomites. Heck, we're only three days in. We essentially have three days. We essentially have three weeks of racing left in this Giro d'Italia. Traveling to Aquit Terme, that's the start of stage four, to talk to the riders and maybe Tade himself to find out about just how much energy is he spending so early on into this race. How much did the Tade and Thomas attack really disrupt things leading up to the sprint? Yeah, I think quite a bit. I think, uh, yeah, it's quite hard to chase them <laughs> as, uh, as the riders they are. So, uh, yeah, that took a bit out of the lead out guys, I think. And uh, yeah. This is the way he races. Uh, he, he takes every opportunity there is. And I think that's, yeah, that's why he's such an exciting rider. But um, yeah, harder for us for sure. You know, it's kind of cool in one way that he doesn't really care. I think he's so good that. Once again, doesn't really care, he just kind of goes for it. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to be in good position. I thought uh, Conoré is not on the attack and uh, I was just uh, trying to follow the wheels, uh, taking the opportunities to, to take the front to be safe. Then uh, we were in, end up in uh, attack, but uh, I think uh, I didn't spend so much more. I think uh, in the bunch is uh, when you stress level is super high. I think for me it's better being in the front safe and uh, yeah, maybe push uh, 50 watts more average than, uh, than in the back, but uh, obviously also less sprinting, so it's not so bad. Three days in to this Giro d'Italia, and Tade has tried every day. On the first day, he just fell short to Jonathan Narvaez. Day two, won the stage, took the leader's pink jersey. Day three was at it again on the Hills of Honore, joined by Garrett Thomas. He's attacked every day in this Giro. There are a couple more sprint stages. Then, importantly, we have a gravel stage, similar to Strada Bianche, which Tade won with an 80 kilometer solo attack earlier this spring. Then we have a TT, summit finish stage, and another stage before we get down to Naples. Tade's gotta think about saving some energy. Oh, well, uh, let's take day by day. Today, we need to survive good. Then uh, tomorrow as well, uh, and then, yeah. We start to think about uh, how we spend the energy and uh, how we how we control the race and uh, yeah it's uh, yeah uh, the gravel stage will be the one that uh, show something about the team structure as well so yeah and then the time trial is all about uh, one man one man uh, itself and yeah uh, then we start climbing. There go the riders for the start of the fourth of 21 days of racing in the Giro d'Italia. Speaking with each rider, while well, they're all blown away by how much energy Tade is using in this Giro d'Italia, but talking with Tade Pogacar himself, he said, well, it's safer on the front, and really, he's not spending that much more energy than the other guys. But yeah, he'll start to think about what's ahead, the gravel stage, the TT stage and the summit finish. 
and perhaps save his energy, but he left us with the departing words, you never know, maybe he'll attack again today and tomorrow. Well, this is the Giro d'Italia, the Boccaccio d'Italia.